Stick around, ladies and gentlemen, because we frying up some onion strings. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So what you'll need is probably four medium-sized onions. But if they're smaller onions like these here, you go a little more. I have five. But I also have a medium onion so I can show you. It's a little bigger than these right here. These are smaller onions, so I went with five. But four medium-sized onions will work. Now off to the side here, I have my seasoning, which is one teaspoon of garlic powder, one teaspoon of salt, one and a half tablespoons of Cajun or your favorite Creole seasoning, and one cup of flour. In case you are wondering, this is just all-purpose flour. I imagine you could go with some other type of flour for your batter, but I'm just keeping it simple for you guys with all-purpose flour. All right, so back over to the onions. We're gonna get these sliced up very thin. Now what we do is we eliminate both sides here. We try to take off that first layer and then we just get them sliced up real thin. Kind of like this. Oh, watch out now. And that is pretty much it, ladies and gentlemen. I know you're probably thinking, oh, I could get them a little thinner than that. Yeah, you could, but they will shrink up as they cook in the grease. So this is pretty good. Let's get the rest of these cut up. And there you go. Moving on. Okay, so we have taken our onions and we've put them down on a couple layers of paper towels here. And what we're going to do is, is we're going to take a few more pieces of paper towel and we're just going to pat them dry here. We want to try and soak up as much of the moisture as we can, which will help the batter really adhere to the onion because that moisture will cause it to fall off. So that's what we're doing here. Okay, so once I've patted it down flat like that, then I'll go ahead and start breaking them all apart here, you know, get them all opened up and then I'll kind of pat them down again. So that way I can get some of that moisture that's on the, you know, the inside of the, the ring or string. I know we calling them strings here, but the reason why is because you will have some that break apart like this here. I mean, that's going to come apart and then you don't have a ring. You got a string. So <laughs> there you go. But we're going to get them all pulled apart here and we'll pat them down some more. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we have separated our onion strings, rings, what have you. Patted them down nicely. They are dried up really good. Now we're going to be adding them to two eggs here, but I'm gonna go ahead and scramble this up a little bit first. Voila! All right, so we'll grab a handful here, a clean hand, and we're gonna mix in a little bit at a time, and then we'll mix the rest. I'll toss those around. Beautiful. All right, so we're gonna pile on the rest of these in here. And so what I'll do is I'll probably bind this towel here together both sides and then I'll be able to just kind of drop them in and I'll toss these around and that is it ladies and gentlemen a nice thin layer of egg on the outside of the onion this will help the batter stick to the onion I know some people like to throw down some hot sauce and mustard what have you but just remember when you do that you are adding moisture which could make it a little bit more difficult for the batter to stick to the onion so this is good for me, this is how I will roll. So we're just gonna let this sit here for now as we go get our oil heated up and then we'll come back and get started on our batter. Get you a pan, heat it up. Okay, so I got about a gallon of grease here. What I'm using is peanut oil. You can choose whatever works for you. That's just what I'm going with. I also have this little thermometer which will monitor the temperature for me. I am wanting to reach about a little under 300 degrees and then I'll uh, drop them in from there. I don't have the heat on too high because I don't want this to get hot real fast. Um, you do that and it's kind of hard to bring it down real fast. So take your time with it, you know, let it gradually get there. All right, ladies and gentlemen, on to the next part here. So what I got is this really cool contraption. Uh, I'll actually throw it up on my Amazon influencer page. Uh, for those of you who like to keep up with the cookware that I use, it's, uh, it's really neat. You, you, you put batter on one side. There's a middle compartment where, you know, it catches the batter, but it'll keep the things that 
you know, are sticking to the batter, whether that be, you know, your, your onion strings, your shrimp, your fish, and then the rest of your batter falls in here. So anything that, you know, goes unused, you can just continue using if you're frying a bunch of different things. So what I'll do here is just add the, the flour and all the seasonings to this bottom layer and then get it mixed up real good. So flour, Cajun Creole seasoning, salt, and garlic powder. Now look, the, the reason why I use salt and garlic powder instead of more Cajun Creole seasoning is because there's a lot of pepper in those blends. And for this, I can just kind of enhance the salt and the garlic powder, you know, which won't really bring a lot more spice, but just more flavor. So I'll get this shaken up and there you go. Look how pretty that is right there. Ooh, let's zoom in a little bit. Oh yeah. All speckled up, real pretty. So look, we don't wanna just go ahead and drop the onion strings in here right away. We wanna make sure our grease gets hot enough so that when we do drop them in here, we can immediately transition them from here into that pan. Because the longer they sit, they'll kind of get moist and that batter is just, it just gets wet and it doesn't really crisp up as good. So we want to be able to drop it in here and then immediately put it in the pan. So let's go check that grease. This is getting close to where I want it, ladies and gentlemen. As you can see, it's a little over 250 degrees. So I can probably go inside, start battering up those strings. And when I come back out here, it'll be right around where I like it. Let's go. All right, let's batter these bad boys up. So we'll go ahead and just throw them in like so. And get all of them. We will put the top on here. Bam. Squeeze it tight. Shake it up. We flip it over. Woo! Shake them up again. Look at that. And we're going to do it one more time because you got, see, you got some up in there, still kind of need some batter. That's okay. We'll get them back in there. And we're going to do that again. I'm going to move this around so that these ones that didn't get enough batter will. Bam. Put this back on and repeat. Keep shaking it up. Big booty Judy was a friend of mine. Big juicy booty Judy made me lose my mind. Big booty Judy was a friend of mine. Big juicy booty Judy made me lose my mind. Shake it up. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. They're ready to fry. This is not the safest way to do things, but uh, for the sake of videoing. Oh, woohoo! That wasn't too bad. Get in there. So I don't really have a timeline on this. I just do it off a of feel, all right? You kind of watch them, let them get to a golden consistency, and then you remove them from there. Some fryers are gonna be faster than others, so just watch them. We still cooking these down. As you can see, the color is starting to change. Look, I like to move my little basket around, let the oil kind of come up, hit all of them, kind of shake them up a little bit, you know, because some of these ones on the top, they just kind of float up there, so they're not really, you know, getting deep in that grease. And you really want that golden color to shine on all of them. So just kind of keep moving around like this. It's looking good, though. They're coming along. All right, this looks great right here. So look, I'm going to go ahead and uh, lift my little basket up. And it's got a little hook down here, so I'm going to hook it on there. And just let it sit, let it drain. Ooh, these bad boys look good. Just how you remember them. This is one heck of a snack. Let me tell you, I have thrown these down already and my girls, my wife, everybody just crushes them, you know? If you wanna just fry up something quick that you have on hand, this is it right here. They're so good. Of course, we like to dip them in some ketchup too, but um, I'm stumbling on my words, man. I'm, I'm drooling. I just I want to knock these out. But yeah, we like to dip it in some crap. Some... 
We like to dip them in some ketchup. I got my wife filming, that's why you see the, uh, the, the camera shaking, she's laughing at me. We like to dip them in some ketchup. I also like tartar sauce, so if you can make a good one yourself, do that, knock them out, but I mean, just like this on their own. Oh, look at this, man. Crispy, you know, look, look at that right there. Oh yeah, that's beautiful, look at that. Beautiful. Mmm. Mmm. I prefer them like this over the traditional onion ring, you know? It's just a great blend of that well-seasoned batter and that tender onion. So good. Well, all right, guys. We knocked it out. I put this photo on my Instagram, and you guys were hitting me hard saying you wanted to see this, so hey, there we go. We knocked it out. Give it a try. Let me know what you think, and I hope you enjoy. Other than that, got nothing else for you. I'll see you next time.